Contention one is agency. States attempt to block women from obtaining abortion with mandated, outdated, and complete biased information as a prerequisite to medical care or interest in that. In 2006, under the fourth consent of majority, states have enacted laws requiring physician price specific information when seeking abortion they do not measure up. To the gold standard of the fourth consent, the information presented either out of date bias or for the sake of so far, and to include information that is patently inaccurate and complete counseling and these are intended less to inform women that discourage them from seeking abortions. And in four consent is coercive infringement of agency government standards are fundamentally subjective categories that manipulate Course, both patient and doctor preventing open discussion of Berg. In 94, under case of the court, does the state with the right to determine medical truth, false and categories of truth, and false and not capture the range of statements that while truth under my case, so autonomy decision making the context of doctor future relationship these statements can be coerced with the concept of objective truth, false and appropriate standard judging the constitution of compelled speech, the plus the concepts in I found the the subjective nature of the nation's present interest, and obtain the vice force assertion that the state is antithetical to this goal and incorporation of the government standards into medicine as the essence of totalitarianism protection government speech is necessary. Uh, the government continued to mandate patient doctor discourse for ideology carbon. It to okay the government's of any country to impose standards of discourse and information given by physician during the Cultural Revolution in China. Physicians were sent to villages to advocate the use of contraception during construction of the Europe in the 1930s. The sober government imposes ideology to physician patients during the efforts of the life is issue to increase the birth rate in Romania, increase the directive of physician taught to admit disseminate information about contraception. It might see the broader government manipulation and consent of physician conversation with patients the so-called important event precisions require doctors at the risk of losing their medical license to provide every patient seeking abortion scripted information and attempted to convey the state's preference for childbirth over abortion Pennsylvania statute directed and regulated the content of physician communication in order to encourage patients to follow government ideology, teach the reputation, disregard of the patient freedom to allow government but manipulation of the patient for speech to promote a certain ideology and state control over abortion is uniquely damaging, creates the essence of denial of the agency that goes above and beyond the everyday normalizing the text of law in Rubenfeld in 89 to laws against abortion and combine normalizing function and use Laws against abortion operating in the way of other laws, and most, and that, yes, it is difficult to imagine this enforcing rule ramification whose actual everyday life of uh, actor are more far reaching and attempts at the political indoctrination that frame the decision makers as objects. Roberts, in 93, in a situation which becomes a men to bring others engaging in the practice of engaging in violence, way lady men, from women from their own decision makers that change from the object of the regulation of the of mental violence, and dominating women's deliberation about pregnancy and objectification prevents dialogue and risk annihilation to the men. In 95, by the Coexistence characterized by mutual and dialogue by using the other person's stops in relation to anti technological dominating and exploitative such persons, read up for only to themselves, other people or things I tend to be human as an obstacle to march a serious threat to the existence of civilization and denial of agency to women undermines the structure of politics and says, quo, right, women as objects of normalization rather than agents devaluing their existence as political beings and reappropriation of that agency is necessary for life to a value laying in night without agency individuals will use subjects not citizens find it here as the will of the government off the platform of the ability who rethink the web of social political relations that actually provides there can be no separate sphere of finding political blunder less the thing they don't will be unable to break political meetings which rights are protected the political action is not just an addition to our deal that's something necessary for happiness and autonomy is the only way to give life meaning the choice to stop the crime is protected Harris in uh, three autonomy is connected to individuality and the exercise of autonomy in our lives come in the real sense of our own autonomy is crucial to giving life value because we accept the meaning an individual's life is large to give my acts self definition of your concern and protected attempts at self creation even when they are convinced that they are misguided, and uh, autonomy is a prerequisite for impact assessment. Any framework which has autonomy can an establish I have Lynn's angle heart. It has a lot autonomy is intrinsic condition for right action, but they're maximizing good autonomy function of the side constraint as their condition, or the possibility right to be pursuing good. What is required condition of moral action for autonomy when we not really decide to be free? That is again the very condition of possibility for the understanding of autonomy is then grow to account of uh, human flourishing strength. Thus, the plan the United States Supreme Court should have world plan parenthood for southeastern Pennsylvania be facing by holding the stand is the informed consent for person seeking abortion constitutes and undue burden. Contention to his solvency protection of doctor-patient relationship is necessary to prevent and state intrusion into the discourse of life and death for her. In 94 history confirms the basic democratic humanitarian values from the ancient government in relation to the ideology of doctor-patient discourse to affirm the advancing government ideology of the medicalization of state ideology in Nazi Germany should remind us of the potential dangers of permitting government to elicit addition and propaganda to take government efforts to regulate content and patient discourse and not yet extend beyond contraception and abortion. However, as medical advantages continue to present challenges on minimal beliefs, uh, about life and death, there are certainly conceivable regulators who oppose the availability of certain procedures made to prevent their use of pre ideological grounds by enacting measures that limit or 
Mr. Compton, Dr. Fish, and this person, Casey, you know, court adopted the principle of the First Amendment does not rob the government of the right to impose the restrictions on the content. Now, uh, Dr. Fish speaks to prevent imposition of the bills upon us to prescribe personal events in every day life is crucial to maintain the separation of certain church and state Dr. Fish discourse and the Dr. Fish deliberation is key to the patient autonomy, prevention of government and co-optation. Uh, the co totality of our lives, Dad, in 1990s, with the way the self definition of Dr. Discourse is based on precondition or deliberative autonomy decisions about a more fundamental life decisions intrinsically tied to the one's own autonomy. One does not make those decisions in a vacuum. Government prescription patient Dr. Discourse will threaten the government takeover, the totality of our lives, and open and honest Dr. Fishing Discourse supports agency the patient ensures active participation in the discourse of the decision. Burr in 94 patients inquire about what they not understand for their spheres and they discuss a wide range of subjects, including the patient's medical, psychological, family, sexual history, set or religious beliefs, and the other factor. The doctor patients is essentially maintaining patients' autonomy, doctor patient discourse, it empowers patients to participate actively, determining what happens to their bodies, from can discussions, physicians, patients are able to retain autonomy, frank open discussion with doctors, encourages patient self realization, self fulfillment, stifled discourse, in which the conversation about certain topics prescriptive and means them. And this is not to say that doctors have no responsibility to discuss consequences of medical procedures with the status quo reflects a dramatic shift from standard discourse is meant to evoke guilt and shame as they were in the board for consent is missing for consent in their minds. All that important consent has been to be vendetta in 2001. This content of informed consent professional for patients to obtain informed consent is determined by professional standards, healthcare profession, toward liability. The state legislators have generally left healthcare industry unmolested in the sphere of informed consent statutes, following their procedures to end pregnancy. They require more than just information about risk of elective surgery procedure. They more realize more and the woman in effort to arouse her feelings of sin, guilt, and shame as well as realistic portraiture. Uh, how much easier life for a mother can be the Pennsylvania version of abortion cloaked as consent to be into the system board consent. The Commonwealth would not compel similar disclosure to every possible peril in the source area surgery. Simple vaccination reveals the anti abortion character of the statute and its real purpose. And the Supreme Court is crucial. The identity of a woman who needs to support the government and rational decisions created by the court. How we conceive of uh, dignity is shaped by the Supreme Court as new liberties conflict with the old law. Reproduces subordination. Only the plain great staff that disrupts the smooth functioning of law who's embracing strategy. Let all freedom remain the property of the lead flu she had in 97. Justices are very uncomfortable with the idea of a woman making a decision without assisting the image. A, a woman is confident. Decision makers almost entirely absent the joint opinion. Justice right about the abortion decision without reference to the decision maker in order to reaffirm where the justice must entrust the woman to be very simple. All that is not rational with the decision just that is fine with ensure the pregnant woman will make a rational decision. The nation's definition of itself, the central belief in dignity, depend on the decision made by the court. The founders of the posterior government of liberty, liberty commensurate with one's support. Given their former subordinates, liberty liberties constantly conflict with the old the law. Must to resolve these conflicts, the easy solution is always to reproduce subordination. The portrait of the joint opinion upheld in the informed consent provision by reading it as a mechanism for controlling women's decision proceeds smoothly. The content does not violate the laws underlying logic, extended liberty creates doubt. The doubts will continue to disrupt the law until a new legal order has been written, unless these doubts are simply lawless. They are sought and welcome liberty of workers, servants, slaves, law, and died remain the privilege of an elite few. And a re examination of the Constitution is key to maintaining an understanding of liberty in which the government cannot be gathered in and, and the promise of the Constitution to examine personal liberty with the government. And the constitutional construction distills the principles of substantive liberty, the constitution, democracy, and the right tradition hold to these principles. Our aspiration for which the people stand may not be realized since that just books common law. A theory of the constitution that includes the ability to inspire intentional privacy acceptance of uh, judgments made by hundreds of lived ghosts central and the informed consent is grounded in an understanding of purpose, is not grounded in an understanding of perfect autonomy, rather a constant process to which the right to medical decision is essential matter. In that informed consent is not based on the fundamental right for every patient to be absolute and perfect autonomy of patients under the right. To that meaning, which is being medical decision making, but a personal autonomy right does not apply exclusively within the individual achieving autonomy. It is a constant process of documentation, discourse, essential part of autonomy, and the rules are coming now. Hudson, in the ACLU 2006, the police order of the administration of Kennedy Court in Hudson v. Michigan many years ago, Supreme Court held that police must not be announced in Hudson, Supreme Court rule 5 the exclusionary rule does not apply to the irregularity in which he said the very question existence of exclusionary rule arguments from the elimination of the exclusionary rule, the willingness of the Roberts Clay and Thomas Alito to a rule that can suppress the exclusionary rule gives a sense of me for changes like in the years to come any or notably conservative than O'Connor regulation of abortion just an hour should fly straight. Okay. Alright, so that's the um, informed consent is an instance of the state intervention into doctor patient relations. What is the plan to do about other instances of uh, state intrusion? Not very much. Okay. State still intrudes in other areas have the plan your advantages contingent on yeah. the state intruding into doctor patient yeah, relations. Yeah. Our, our advantage is just about. Um, our internal links are very specific, and our 
to yeah, the yeah. right to have a say over it's not, it's not the like decision making. Yeah, process. your internal links are specific to informed consent. However, you just conceded that informed consent is one area of the state's interest. I can give you a very specific evidence saying that to have a right to say in your medical decision making process is still very much an important part yeah, of the yeah, process yeah, it's, uh, of autonomy. Yeah, I mean, you know, Okay, but you, you you don't do anything about other areas. This notion of like an absolute autonomy is silly. Okay. There are different facets under which people should probably be able to control okay. more so than the statute. Okay. Uh, all right. On that note, let's talk about your freedoms of decay of autonomy. You say we don't we, we don't enshrine the idea of perfect autonomy. Sure. But uh, the, 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 the right that you enshrine like is that 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 medical is decision. Informed but, consent yeah, specific. it says that you can have autonomy and informed consent without having to have a conception of what it means to be. Okay, but uh, that's about the right that is enshrined in the one I see is this right to. I don't know, it seems like you're throwing around words like enshrine, you know, we enshrine something. When all we said is that there should be. Rather, a constant a process to which the right to medical decision making yeah. is essential. Right. Yeah, that seems, that seems like, like synonymous with No, it's just it's a constant yeah. process of reevaluating what it means to be autonomous, and you realize that new things. And that is oriented toward uh, a right to medical decision making. No, yes. not necessarily. That's says, what you are doing. No, it says as we can realize new ways in which society, the government, etc., infringe upon people's ability to make decisions, we can reevaluate what it means to be autonomous. Okay. That it's not. Uh, okay. So your angle, hard evidence, the impact assessment evidence, says autonomy is intrinsic, a condition for right action, whatever. Uh, so does this evidence indicate, like, when there are two options that you know lead to different degrees of autonomy, whatever, how we adjudicate? How we adjudicate between competing rights claims? I, I think we read a Sheehan card that says that rights necessarily conflict and the goals. And no, I'm not talking about competing rights. Like how, 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 how do we competing claims to autonomy? I yeah. don't understand your question. What policy A leads to that should be policy A leads to X amount of autonomy. We said that a decision to terminate pregnancy was a unique instance in which there should not be a state law mandating specific information. Okay. Doctor has to tell them. Okay, so once that degree of autonomy has been fulfilled, it's not a then we can degree of autonomy as though our image is all based on autonomy. That's the important decision for people to have whose lives to have value. Okay. 